It is a mask designed to be better than the FDA approved N95 mask used primarily by medical staff amid the pandemic. We first heard about the effort last night in our San Antonio question segment. Tonight, we speak with the local chief nurse executive behind that creation. As the night team's Jaffney Gray reports, the design developed from air conditioning filters. Hearing the stories for, from the nurses in New York and other hot spots, it just was heartbreaking. University Health System Chief Nurse Executive Tommy Austin has spent over three weeks with her staff and the Southwest Research Institute designing her own spin to an N95 mask, a mask that's already been proven to eliminate at least 95% of viruses and bacteria trying to get through, according to UHS. Making sure that we've not just developed something that we think is, is a good product, but something that we know is a good product by using science. With the purchase of an AC filter, Austin designed an N99 mask tested by the Southwest Research Institute to have a 99.5 filtration efficiency using one material. She also designed an N97 mask with a 97.8 filtration efficiency using another material. As you can see, it's under my chin securely. I don't feel any air coming across the top. It doesn't a bit have uh, what we call carbon dioxide buildup, which can make you dizzy or have a headache. It actually is very comfortable. The hospital currently has enough N95 masks and personal protection equipment, but she says with the surge of COVID-19 patients predicted to happen in May, they wanted to have a backup plan. We are also sharing our design with the other facilities here in San Antonio and whomever needs the design. I've also shared it with uh, Sutter Health in California. So far, they've created 600 masks and hope to produce 6,500 more. As a nurse, we are to be advocates for people. And so my primary goal was not to be uh, rich or anything in regard in, in regards to this mask. The, the main the main purpose of this mask was to keep people safe. Jaffney Gray, KSAT 12 News.